Hey there everybody, Fat here, and welcome back to Fat Plays Darkest Dungeon New Game Plus. Last time we took Reynold, Pepsi Castillion, and I believe D-Wright into a dungeon. It did not go excellently for us, but luckily we did make it out with a decent amount of money. But, didn't have enough to really go on the next mission that I wanted to, so I sold some trinkets to deal with it. And I got a team together here. We're going to take on the Sonorous Prophet. Raving Madman, Doombearer, Apocalyptic Herald. Whatever his role, there is a sickness in his wild sermons that must be silenced. Dispose of this prophet. We'll be taking Hayes, the bounty hunter. He is going to be equipped with Collect Bounty, Marked for Death, Finish Him, and Hook and Slice, level 3. Did level that up to get the extra bleed uh, tick, so he does 4 points for 3 rounds. And... As far as equipment goes, he has Baristan's head for the protection and the Brawler's gloves for a little bit of extra damage up front. Mont Canisi, our men-at-arms. He has Crush, Bellow at level 2, Command, and Bolster at level 2. He's going to be playing mainly a support role. Built him with extra debuff skill chance and a little bit of uh, stress relief and additional accuracy did reduce his dodge by quite a bit but i figure even at level one he has more hp than everyone else here at level two so he could take a little bit of extra damage i'm not too worried about that curtis augusta will be pulling up the third row with harvest level three slice off level three for a lot of bleed damage battle ballad and inspiring tune for a little bit of support his main role of course is going to be stress relief and bleeding and to back that up, he does have the Lucky Dice for extra accuracy and dodge, and the Dodge Stone to bring his dodge up to a very respectable 33. And bringing up our rear is going to be Jolin, our Grave Robber, packing Flashing Daggers, Shadow Fade, Thrown Dagger, and Poison Darts. Thrown Dagger, Poison Darts, and Flashing Daggers can all be used from the back row, and Shadow Fade is in case she gets moved up to the, one of the first two rows. Help her out there. We are building her towards Poison Darts, and with that, we have our Blighting Satchel. Does reduce her dodge a little bit, which is pretty bad for a Grave Robber, but on the other hand, getting an extra 40% Blight skill chance on top of the 110 base means that most enemies are going to be getting some Blights up in here. Dismas's head will give us a little bit more damage when we do decide to use Thrown Daggers or Flashing Daggers, so I believe that's going to help out more in the regular uh, parts of the dungeon, and then on the, then on the boss, we're probably going to want to be throwing down Blights like crazy, because four points per round is pretty darn good especially if we could stack that up with Hayes's hook and slice and then Curtis on the slice off or harvest we should be able to bleed him out quite well and then Moncanisi will be pulling up uh, his uh, debuffs that's the plan at least we'll see how that works in action we don't have any way be between this team to stop um, ambushes in camp, so we do have to be a little bit careful about camping. Maybe we could even make it to the boss before we even have to camp. That would be an ideal situation, but we will see. Taking all our food, taking a full stack of shovels. Going to take a key since we are going into the ruins. It could be helpful there. Oh, we don't really... Ah, we'll take some bandages and some anti-venoms. Another weakness of this team is we don't have a way of healing ourselves outside or in battle. So healing could cause an issue if our health becomes low, but... Let's find out what happens. Here we go. Excavations beneath the manor were well underway when a particularly ragged indigent arrived in the hamlet. This filthy, toothless miscreant boasted an uncanny knowledge of my ambitions and prognosticated publicly that, left unchecked, I would soon unleash doom upon the world. Well, what a jerk. Let's go silent. The echoes of his mindless tittering reverberate maddeningly. Good starting scout. Well, he's obviously going to be way the heck over here, so this is about as far as we could possibly go to get to a boss. Anyway, let's get moving. Hey, it's bringing up the front here. I feel pretty secure in that, especially with his 100% disarm chance, but 110 on Jolin shows that uh, she's a grave robber for a reason. All right, we're probably going to skip most of these unless we get the um, curios to go with them. It's my usual boss strategy is to rush the boss down immediately so that we don't have to worry about um, any wear and tear on the way to the boss. But we do have two battles coming up right here. And it is going to be fairly rough because... Uh, oh, that's that could have been very bad. Luckily, it was not. Um, it is going to be fairly rough because we have to take this long route. So, And there's no way around any of the battles. 
So I'm a little bit worried about that. I forgot to take torches because of course I did. That's okay. You know what? I'm I'm still feeling pretty good about this. You know what? What's a torch? Just a way to light your way, light your path, let you know what's going on so that you can see things. You know what? Overrated. We don't need no torches up in here. All we need is a little bit of kick ass. There you go. Torch that, fool. Slowly. Now give me some torches, please. This uh, is how a life is taken. All right, so. Yep, uh, of course I make the, uh, this is what happens when I wait a week between Darkest Dungeon missions here is I, I forget to do the uh, simplest things. That's okay, though. We're going to manage, you see. Eradicated. That's what I call managing. All right, and we have two humans right in the center, which is perfect for a harvest. All right, we have a very strong team here. Their formation is broken. Maintain the offensive. So this is our biggest advantage by far, is the fact that we just have a lot of damage we can put out per turn. <laughs> I mean, look at that. Death. Unforeseen. Unforgiving. All right, he's... Ooh, he actually dodged it. I was I was literally going to say, Makanisi's probably not going to get the dodge there, but uh, thanks for making me look the fool. Totally cool with that when uh, we can tear you guys down quite easily. Uh, let's get a little bit of easy stress relief here. There we go. Look at that stress melt away. Mm. Feeling good on Curtis here. Good hit. Brought him down to 4 HP. He's dead. The weapon that cuts on its own. Makanisi is very slow. Yeah, his speed's only three. I'm not a huge fan of that. We could open this. There's a good chance that someone will get Thanatophobia. Does someone already have Thanatophobia? No. So it would be an addition for anyone. Eh, who cares? We got treasure. You know what? Torchlight's going to go down, which means treasures are going to go up. Might as well take advantage of that while we can. The fact that we're not using torches does mean we have to camp when we get to this point just to uh, make sure we have some light when we fight the Prophet just for that little bit of an advantage. So... We are going to do that, almost definitely. Jolland, whatever is this curiousness, uh, it is literally curiousness. I'm probably going to want to get rid of that eventually. Okay. No scout that time, which means, yeah, we were not necessarily prepared for this battle, but we did not get surprised. So, thank goodness for that. I'm actually more worried about the damage in this fight than the stress. Reason being, we have stress relief. Well, we have Curtis. And he's pretty darn good at his job, if I may say so myself. Two rounds of stress, uh, well, actually one round of potential stress damage before she bleeds out is not a huge problem. This guy's still a huge problem. He can't use hook and slice from there. I keep forgetting that. He can use come hither from there, so I'm probably... I might switch him out. I might actually switch the Brawler's Gloves between Hayes and Montcanisi. We'll see what happens when things go forward here. Let's just Confidence go ahead and get rid of her. surges as the enemy crumbles. I'm going to bellow here, I think. Wow, the double crit. Moncanisi not fooling around. Mm, neither is that guy, though. Does reduce their dodge and speed, so we should be able to go faster next turn. And hopefully make this okay. Mm, I could have him... You know what? Let's do Battle Ballad. Let's get our accuracy up just so we're not missing any shots. Press this advantage. There we go. Give them no quarter. So far, it's working out. We also get a speed boost, but that's not going to count, I believe, for anything until next round. Ah, I was hoping for a little bit more from there, but... Uh, oh, I thought we were going to yell at him to death. Did not happen. All right, he's going to run for the old gods. He's going to dodge for the uh, new gods. Good job, Hayes. No second dodge, though. That's okay. We're still fine. Our health is not really that bad at all. I mean, it's not great. Obviously, any damage we take at this point is pretty bad. But everything's bearable falls, at this point. A faint hope blossoms. Yeah, that, that kills him. This kills the rabbit. We'll get some stress relief going on here. Eh, you have the most stress, so boom. <laughs> the anti-stress portion of our strategy is working out great. Destroy them all. Do I want to use a key here? Not really. Right. Some Getting a lot of onyxes. For a, task well performed. a scout is nice here. It, it doesn't really do anything too much, too practical for us, but it lets us know if there's a battle up ahead. So that alone is pretty Darkness good. Closes in, haunting the hearts of men. Definitely not going to read any books. Not in the pitch black, at least. Be funny if you actually got a penalty for trying to read books in the dark. Uh, no battles up ahead still is beautiful. Beautiful. 
I could use a torch. I just don't want to... I... We could do pitch black. I don't want to, but we can. We have the resources. We have the technology. I have a shovel. Less likely to use that in the key, especially since if I'm... only treasure hmm. could staunch the flow of otherworldly corruption. I'm actually getting very, very lucky with the... Um, with the scouts so far, so that's why I'm not too... I didn't want to pick up the... Uh, I didn't want to use the key yet. That's what I'm trying to say. Mm. I'll throw out the onyx. I can stack more gold. Oh, I could have got... I could have also traded the jade, I suppose. Yeah, that would have worked out, too. Anyway, we've made it pretty darn far, fortunately. I am worried about hallway battles. But right now, we're doing fine. We're doing fine. Sentimental gifts. <laughs> wow. Oh, wow. Um, yeah, the, the Zaphire is worth a lot more than the gold. Uh, hello, advantage of the pitch black. Oh, hmm. I really do need my heirloom, so I don't think I'm going to... Well, I can grab the jade. I'm going to throw out the lock of patience. That might not be the best move, but I feel like it's safer. Ah, I was going to check something there, you fools! Oh, wow. That was... Not a good shuffle. Not the worst, though. I can go ahead and Shadow Fade here, no problem. And I can do it again next turn, so that's two guaranteed stuns, pretty much. Uh, slice Off might be our best bet here. I think it is. Wow, even with the crit, that was not enough. All right. Uh, Hayes can use Hook and Slice, but it's not going to be that useful here. So I believe our better play is to move forward. And... Yes! That death scream is awesome. Quarrel. Oh, gosh. On our grave robber. Good dodge from... Dro well, she has 38 dodge. I guess she should be dodging pretty well, huh? Okay. A little bit more stress relief. Or do we want the buff? I think we'll take the buff this time. Good stuff. Good stuff. Are we going to go for flashing daggers? No, because that would be kind of pointless. We should be able to kill this guy this round. He is definitely the more dangerous one. Bone rabble really ain't... He's nothing. He's not that... Even with a crit, he probably wouldn't do much damage. And right now, he's not even able to do that. So, yeah. Now we want to do some stress relief. Doesn't matter on who. Stress situation is looking beautiful. Health situation's looking okay. The dead enemy situation is lovely. Seize this Man, momentum. I'm picking up so many onyx. I'm going to drop Push the jade. To the tasks end. I'm just picking up so many of them. Now, the gold... I'm going to have to dish the gold. We have too much treasure. And honestly, I'm also starting to second-guess carrying this anti-venom and bandage around, since I'm not actually using them. Of course, as soon as I decide to drop them, we're going to get that one fight that's like two spitters and two webbers. Oh, that's not good. That's pure damage. Watch your step. And stress, of course. Hmm. Okay, still not a terrible fight. This surprise was arguably worse than the last one, but I still have access to flashing daggers. A singular strike. Which was a singular strike. Oh, move back one. Yeah, move you back one, move Hayes up two, and we'll be in position again. If Monkanisi can go before this Arbalist, I will be so happy. Yeah, that's two out of two. Not going to do it. All right, we're practically in position. Darn it. Oh, that was, ah, that was surprisingly weak. That made me happy in the pants. All right, do them in. Obliterated. Getting some good crits here in the pitch black, which is part of the design of it. So that's working out for us right now. Hopefully we'll continue to do so. I think I'm actually going to go ahead and give you the blight. Wear you down since you have that protection on you. And then I want to give you a slap with my axe. And then we're going to give you a cut. And then a crush should do it. There you go. That's how you do it. As victories mount, so too right. will resistance. Right now we're doing pretty good in the pitch black. Uh, let's come on, sh shovel, please. Let's see, was that shovel worth it? Uh, yes, there's only two hallways left and we have two shovels, so that's good. Uh, I will get rid of the medicinal herbs, I think, to grab some more crest. And the bust, I'm gonna just keep that as a wash. Yeah, for now. Ooh, two fights in a row. Okay. Wow, we are just getting surprised everywhere. 
This is bad. This is very bad. This fight is actually pretty tough, too. This is the toughest fight so far, easily. Lots of damage, and we have a team that is not equipped to take lots of damage. Uh, let's go for the harvest for the damage. And Hayes will move up afterwards. Uh, please, pound him into the dirt. All right, Hayes, get in position, please. Axe blade coming out. Let's see, we can, after the next hallway, we can rest. Ooh, that is not good. <laughs> oh, God. Curtis is in a lot of trouble. We need to get rid of this guy as soon as possible. Oh, and we have no one who can reach him from there. I'm going to go ahead and give us a boost here. Okay, he went after Hayes. That's good because that gives Curtis a guaranteed at least one more round. Oh, we're going to go for the damage, I think. And Hayes, the hook and slice? No, that's not necessary because he, he doesn't do enough to make a difference. I mean, he does decent damage with that attack, but he go he has five health now. I'm 99% sure that Jolin can kill him in one hit, as long as he actually hits. Yeah. All right, that was the better play. No doubt about that. Uh, four to nine. Prestige 13 is beautiful. Power. Oh, some food. Remind I gave it to the wrong person. Thanks. Great. Yeah. Slow and insidious I'm like 99% sure I clicked on Curtis and it moved me back to Monkanisi, but whatever. Okay. Fine. I'm still gonna use all of this food. There we go. And free up space for that emerald, actually. Alright. Let's make it through the next hallway, open this sarcophagus, grab some hidden treasures that we can't use, Finding some gold. Is only the first test. Now it must be carried home. And we're not gonna grab it. Okay. No fight here. That's okay. Next. Okay. Two more. One more square. All right. Should be an easy fight. Really, guys. Really. You got surprised by this. Two webbers. You surprised there's spiders down in the dungeon, are you? All right. Down in the ruins, even. Executed with impunity. All right. And then what do you do to spiders? You crush them. You crush them like you crushed your dreams back in high school. Do it! Back to the pit. There you go. And we got a little bit of extra food. Can I give that to you now? Yes, hit you. And you actually ate it. Hot damn. All right. Okay. Gonna make a. Gonna make a little bit of a. A. Uh, ooh. Oh yes! I'm so happy I kept that anti venom now. <laughs> oh boy. Another abomination. Cleansed from I lands. might have been better off doing flashing dag. No, no, I'm not. This is the better play because I can hit both of them with Curtis here. Yeah. Although I probably could have killed them both if we had double teamed the. Eh, I'm fine with this. Spit. One, it missed, and two, no enemy. None of us were marked, so it was fine. Uh, you know what? Let's just do this. Give them a little bit of debuff. Guarantee that we move faster next turn. Uh, this guy is definitely dead next turn, and he missed anyway, so it is about him. He's a Another fool. One falls. And they are both dead, so it doesn't matter what we do. Good stuff. Uh, we did get some stress relief here, which I love. Beautiful. And get out of my house. Be gone, fiend. Okay, <laughs> and we got more food. Ghoulish horrors. And we got a torch! Low what the hell is this weird, incandescent, strange technology that we have acquired? Funky. Um. God, screw the bandages. Grab this. Do I want to use the key in here? Ooh, we got a scout! That was beautiful! That was fantastic! Okay, we're gonna use... No, 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 wait, wait. We're not gonna use anything yet. We're gonna camp, heal up, a spark without kindling. Here we go. It's a goal without hope. We're going to buff ourselves. Uh, the enemy, the Sonar's Prophet, is not size 2, if I remember correctly. So plan takedown is not necessary. I'll consider this is how we do it. Gallows Humor is not necessary. Our uh, stress situation is fantastic. So Curtis really doesn't have anything to do. Does anyone have a disease to be removed? No. So, that leaves uh, Jolin with either Night Moves, which we don't need because we got the Scout already, and Wound Care, which we might actually end up doing. Okay. So, from Monkanisi, he can...
buff himself and everyone else with dodge and crit chance. I think that is definitely the way to go. All right. And maintain equipment. We could make him stronger as well. And he could buff someone else's dodge even farther. We could buff Hayes' accuracy and crit chance, which might be a way to go. Yeah, there's a definite advantage to doing that. So I am going to do this. And then I am going to have a Mount Kinesi maintain. No, I'm going to do Wound Care now. I want everyone's health to be as good as possible. All right. And you know what? These two, I can have them eat food right outside the door, I think. So we're going to use instruction and give some dodge and some speed to Jotland. So that we can hopefully get out some of those blights. All right. Cross of fingers. We did not As get ambushed. Purchase, spirits he goes here. And purpose is made clear. That was absolutely garbage as far as return, but that's all right. Shovel goes here. Should have done that the other way around, Before I suppose, him. but that's okay. Waiting to be spent. And then boss goes here. So we eat the rest of our food. Everyone's at full health. Stress is nearly zero. Let's rock this fight. All right, profit man. man hides there behind the pews, spouting his mindless drivel. So the prophet, the way he works is he carries his own eyeballs, which is pretty great. He uses them to make a calamitous prognostication, basically saying that next turn, Jalen's going to get hit pretty damn hard. So, and that's exactly what's going to happen at the start of the next turn. This is why you need to kind of try to kill him as quickly as possible. But he has these pews in front of him, dashed, fractured, and a blockade of pews. So this creates his, uh, this is the dilemma of the fight. How do you take him out most easily? He has no blight and bleed resist. Zero, none, nada. So we're gonna hit him with blights and bleeds. And we're going to get rid of these pews as quickly as we can as well. I'm gonna have Curtis do some buffs until we can get rid of one of these pews. If we can just get rid of the front one, both Hayes and Montcanisi will be able to start attacking. Or I could have uh, Montcanisi do some uh, debuffs, but his dodge is only five and his speed's already at zero, so that's not going to help us. I could up our dodge, though, which could be good, but let's get rid of this pew. And surprisingly enough, the pews do not have... Uh, they do not have protection, which is kind of what I would expect. Fulminate... That is a blight. Tide turns. It's a fairly weak blight, though. One damage for only two rounds. Here comes the, uh, yeah, that hurts. That hurts a lot every turn. And now he's going to hit two of us. In fact, that, now I'm thinking about it, I probably should have had um, our man-at-arms switch over to, to, to Defender, since he could block the attacks for, some of us, for several of us. But I'm thinking this play is probably going to work out okay as is let's um battle ballot again i suppose yeah now now i'm thinking about it now i'm thinking as i'm playing we probably could have played this far better we're gonna do this and now monk Anisi can attack the front row or the front row the third row okay eye on you i believe that is a stress attack yes pretty decent one too oh it's a stun i forgot about that Crud. Rubble of Ruin. Oh, wow. <laughs> On both of them. Pretty huge damage. Okay, he's going to hit. Going after Hayes and Monkanisi. So, now we have. Or did I say Hayes? I meant Curti. He's in Hayes. Yeah. I said Monkanisi. That's what I did not mean to say. Okay. We have him taking 12 damage per turn, which is pretty darn good. Hayes is no longer blighted, which is pretty darn good. He can attack directly, which is pretty good. This is going to be very, very close, probably. We're probably going to have at least one person on death's door before the end of this. Fulminate is pretty bad. That is actually pretty terrible. Yeah, the blight on Hayes is what I was worried about here. That's why I was worried about it. As life ebbs, <laughs> oh boy. Of emptiness reveal themselves. Now he's going to go after the back row. Who can survive another hit. Definitely. I'm thinking I might want to go for the crits now from Jolland. Because his health is low enough where... Yeah, he's going to die in a couple of turns now. Alright. 
And hey, it's to set you need to survive just one, and you couldn't do it. Of course. You literally needed to survive just one, one blight. And you couldn't do it, man. Ah. Damn it. Rubble of Ruin. It's going to hit Jolland. Ooh, no, it's not. She dodged it. Well, actually, technically it missed. She didn't dodge it, but whatever. All the same, he's going to die. He's going to die right... Well, in blow. a minute. Right now. Get out of here. Did he foresee his own demise? I care not. So long as he remains dead. <laughs> All right. So because we broke the pew, we did get a consecrated pew, which is worth some, some you know, gold. Uh, let's throw away everything that we don't want to take with us and grab all of Hayes' stuff, of course. Ooh, a shimmering cloak. Plus dodge, minus healing received. You know what? I could see using that for a grave robber. The other two are not that useful. So I think we're going to throw out the 300 gold, grab the shimmering cloak. Close, call us done for this one. Rip Hayes' butt. Well, you couldn't survive, you know, a single poison. What can I say? Yes, I did play that a little bit poorly, though. I could have used um, Malkanisi's protection to try and possibly save Hayes, but without healing to go on top of that, it was a pretty rough fight either way. Yeah, ideally, I would have... Oh, someone's, someone got a disease. Ideally, I would have the man-at-arms, I would have a healer in the back, and then the man-at-arms could basically take damage for whoever is getting hit uh, at the beginning of every turn, and the healer could just concentrate on them. Ideally, not guaranteed by any means. Jolin made it to level three. Uh, Monkanisi didn't even make it to level two yet. Wield Phobe kind of sucks. Tough is good, max HP. Minus 20% damage from Creeping Cough. Not that bad, to be honest, on the Jester. Most of his damage comes from his bleeds anyway. That said, we'll probably get rid of it eventually. An exquisite example Ooh. of craftsmanship Ooh. and futility. A free armor upgrade for someone. Oh, I got to find out who I'm going to give that to. Pretty darn nifty. Dear, I lost 500 gold after, you know, getting tipsy and buying around for the house. Not that bad considering the gold that we just got home with. Everyone else is doing all right there. Another person to add to the graveyard. We're already at 3 of 13. That's pretty darn dangerous. I need to be at 10 or less by the time I make it to the end. And right now, we are losing way too many people. So we're probably going to have to play more defensively going forward in the Darkest Dungeon, because that is not going to work out for us. Leper, Crusader, Jester, Arbalist. I'm not sure if we're going to take any of those yet, but I will think about it. But that is going to be it for this episode of That Plays the Darkest Dungeon New Game Plus. If you are enjoying the series, make sure to let me know by giving me a like and letting me know in the comments section below as well. Thank you all for watching this episode of That Plays the Darkest Dungeon New Game Plus. I will see you all in the next episode.